What's going on, friends? Rich Discovery's coming at you with a quick update. I know it's been a long time since we've done this. I've, I've done stuff to it since. Um, I took the coin box apart, or the uh, the coin register, whatever they call it. Took it apart like a year ago, and then summer hit, and it was just a summer of fun. You know, I, I, I met great people. I had a ton of fun. Hit a bunch of places. We did so much this summer that I never got a chance to even put it back together. So today... I sat down, I put the thing back together finally, uh, like I guess it was a year since I took it apart, there were springs and levers, and thank God I took pictures of stuff and video of me taking it apart, uh, like I said, I did make the video of me taking it apart, but I didn't like it, because I had the charger plugged in, and the phone was humming, and, and the lighting was horrible, so I might just throw a clip or two of that in, but probably not, um, I just want to put the coin box, ah, the coin box, or the coin register, whatever they call it, I want to put the coin thing back in, See if it works. I, I don't know. So let's open her up. This is going to be a quick update video, like I said. It still needs to be cleaned inside. I don't even know if I'm in, if I'm in the camera here. It still needs to be cleaned inside. I cleaned some of it, but it's still a mess. I got I to gotta really clean this thing out. But let's get this coin register in and see if this thing actually works. Because I'm excited to get this thing working. And I still got to get... I called it a fuse the last time, but I think it's an igniter. Thing that lights the uh the light up i hope that's the only problem with it because it doesn't glow in the center like they used to i had one somewhere i don't know what i did with it but whatever put that in light doesn't work yet but i got a black light for it and i gotta get a regular white light for it as well but i like the black light i think it's gonna look nice it's gonna give it a nice you know mood and uh yeah let's get this coin box let's check it out all right so here's the coin register finally assembled and back together like I said, I took this thing apart a year ago. It was last winter I took it apart. But we finally got it back together. This isn't part of it. This is uh, it's an airbag harness. Otherwise, this is it. I mean, look at all these little levers. There's gears. There's sprockets inside. There's springs. There's. I think I got it back together. There's a lot of parts in this thing. All this stuff up top. I think I got it back together right. I don't know. I guess we'll find out together. But it was missing some screws uh, like here and... I guess only two screws was missing, but it's missing some screws. I might actually replace one of these with that one. I'm not really sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what's going on here, but let's fire this thing into the machine and see if she works. All right, I think we got it. Let's open this back up. Got my coin box, which I'm hitting. Realized my, my Jesus piece was tucked in. Got to leave that out for good luck so I don't get electrocuted because I'm going to plug this thing in a little bit. I left the bolt here because I'm horrible with bolts. Thank God I did. It's still here. And I don't remember how this thing goes in, to be completely honest with you. I don't. It's obviously got to go this way because here's the return coin lever. This connects to that. But what does this go to? What does this go to? Ooh, stuff's moving. All right. Let's figure it out. I just feel like this needs to connect to something, and I don't see anything to connect it to. So let's pop this in, we'll throw the bolt in it, and we'll go from there. It's, it's got these little threads on it, and this is huge, like, finger bolt. I don't know. Is that a word? Finger bolt? Yeah, whatever. Let's see what happens here. Oh, no, you know what that is? That piece that's right there? I know what that is. That's got nothing to do with the coin box. Or coin register, coin return, whatever you want to call it, it's got nothing to do with it. Let's thread this thing in. All right, what that piece was, that is so when I tip this out, that's the hinge to hold it. Hopefully, and it doesn't fall on me. Maybe, in theory. Yeah, no, I missed it. All right, we got to reconnect that. <laughs> okay, I see what happened here. It fell off right here. This goes on to here. I said... This goes on to here. All right, well, that was a debacle, but we got it. Comes out. Now, down here is where the action happens. And I don't know what any of it is, so. Oh, I see. It goes, slides into there. Okay, we got it. Let's take this thing back out and do it right. All right, so all the magic happens down here, apparently. That's where all the workings are, the mechanisms, and God knows what's. What we gotta do is, we're gonna line it up, we gotta slide it in a tray on the bottom, right here. Slide that thing in, slide that in. I don't know what that was. 
Still don't know what that was. Oh, that's the totalizer sticker. We got to tape that back on. Don't lose that. We'll slide that in like that. Find the bolt that we just lost. All right, now I have no idea what I'm doing here. Clean bar, I, I have no idea. But when I put this in, it comes right out the bottom. I don't believe that's right. I don't think it's supposed to happen. This is supposed to be, I don't know. I have no idea about this stuff, folks. I've never messed with anything like this in my life. So that goes up. And then when I put the coin in, nothing happens. This thing's dropping down, though. Is that normal? I have no idea. Something's got to be going on, right? Doing more than it did, anyways, I think. Possibly. <laughs> I think this has got to go down. Let's try something. All right, so I don't know if you can even see, because I can barely see. This ratchet's up. That clicks in, which locks the other ones. Cigarettes in. It says cigarettes in. Doesn't like me. All right, that releases the bottom. So we pull it up. Stops it from falling off the back, and that releases them. That stops it. Cigarettes in. Yeah. And then they drop. All right, so that does kind of sort of work. So what we got to do is just put this thing back in and figure out what the hell we're doing. I have no idea. Might have to get some professional assistance on this one. But we're going to clean up this mechanism. As you see, it's giving me an issue. But I think once we clean everything up, I mean, there's still a lot of gunk and goo in here. I think once we clean everything up, it's going to be much better. It's just nasty in there. So let's clean all that up. There's the mechanism. We were working with all that stuff, all those springs, levers. We'll get this thing figured out sooner or later. Let's put the coin box in for now, or the coin register, I guess. I don't know. I call it the coin box. All right, so let's get this coin box back in. I figured that out. You got to slide it onto that. Pick it up, slide that onto that, slide that onto that, find the bolt that I lost again, oh, right here, put that in, crank that, and we thread this bad boy in right here. Alright, we got this coin register mechanism all back in, in properly. Well, at least that works, right? I get my money back anyways. Coin slide. I had to lube all that stuff, take it apart, clean everything. It's got this cool little uh, little coin ramp, kind of like the coin games we played when we were kids. Goes down there, drops right in, but I don't know. It's somewhat working, kind of, sort of. We're going to have to figure this out. I'm going to look into it a little more and see what's going on because I, I don't know. I have done and experienced a lot of things in life, believe me, a lot of things. But 1970, I believe, vending machine technology is not one of them. So we're learning. We'll figure it out. We'll see if this even goes in the right way. Let's, let's do it. Hold on. At least if I get my nickel back, I'll know it's in right. Get my goddamn nickel back. Oh, that part's jammed now, right? Beautiful. So we got to fix that now, too. What's going on with that? Yeah, let's, let's help it out a little bit here. There it goes. And it just sticks, right? Dude! Oh, 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 oh! I got my nickel back. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's local or remember CCC with the whole give me my goddamn nickel back thing. That was great. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to fix that up now because now that's jammed. That was working, I think. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's stuck in there. I'm going to have to figure this thing out now. I don't know what happened with it. But regardless, we got it back in, in the proper place. We kind of sort of got it to do, we didn't get it to work, but we got it kind of sort of to do somewhat of what it's supposed to do. I guess it's better than being apart on my table for the entire summer. Uh, we had no leftover pieces, no leftover screws. Um, yeah, I'm glad I filmed everything. If you take stuff apart like this that you have no idea about, make sure you film Make sure you take pictures because I had no clue where that stuff went. I mean, there was levers, there was springs, there was 
little Richter scale looking needles and stuff. I had no idea where anything went. And uh, I just referred back earlier on the on the memory card and had all my, my stuff. I'm kind of crouching if you're noticing because I don't know how high, how high the camera view goes here. So I'm just kind of leaned over a little bit. But make sure you film and photograph everything because I had no idea where that stuff went. Thank God I did it. I was able to go through the pictures. Even uh, some of the stuff I didn't take pictures of, I was able to make screenshots and just zoom in on the screenshots, expand them, and was able to figure it out where it went, where all the screws went, because they're all different screws. These are springs, levers, Richter scale needles. I don't know what they're called, but that's what I call them. These little needles that uh, when the coins drop in, they hit these little needles that are spring-loaded, and there's different ones for different coin amounts. I thought it was really neat. I mean, it's all mechanical, but it's just really neat how they put that together, I thought. But anyways... It's somewhat back together. We're back working on it again. We'll figure it out. I know a lot of people were asking last year when I stopped working on this thing what was going to go on with it, and that's what's going on with it. I still got to clean up this glass a little bit. Probably shouldn't tap it that hard because I don't want to break it. So I got to clean that up. I still want to polish this a little bit better. I kind of did this. You remember the videos from that? I kind of did a little of that, but I want to bring this black out a little better. I want to clean this up a little better. I want to uh, clean up this little gold trim here got a lot to do to it yet but like i said it was on hold really since the last time we looked at it because the summer came and and i'm not trying to sit in the house when it's beautiful out you know i'm trying to go out and hit these great locations and do fun stuff and bring you all along with me so yeah we're getting there i think i said everything already so thanks for watching get out and discover your world you never know when you'll find some clueless idiot trying to work on a vending machine that's jesus only eight years older than him forget that part have a great day, friends. Get out and discover your world.